Hello once again, I couldn't resist adding one more video when I found out how to make a mystic rose like this uh, more quickly than I'd done before. So I'll show you what we did. I'll click on this one and delete it and we'll start from scratch. First we start with a polygon tool and a polygon with 15 sides is a good starting point I found. It uh, may take the uh, colours and opacity etc of the last time you used it but if that's the case just uh, click the fill to none and shift click black if you need to for the border and make sure under the uh, fill and stroke stroke paint is uh, um, fully opaque with this alpha channel here anyway now that you've done that we need to convert it to a path for example if we press N for the node tool now there are only two nodes or only one node really this one here which uh, affects the size it's always going to be a polygon because it's technically a polygon but if we go path object to path now I've got a node on each corner and that's the difference between a, a path and a polygon. Select everyone and we need to break these uh, break up the uh, nodes Let's break up these selected nodes by clicking that icon they're still there for example I can drag a node off but, and it separates but it's actually still connected on top of each other. Okay with all those whoops, with all those uh, selected I'll go back to the select tool and drag a selection marquee around it all and under path effects control shift 7 or under path path effects down here bring that up and add and select under the menu, scrollable menu there uh, stitch subpaths click add and there's a quite complicated one it's a bit annoying that it starts at 5 here you can reduce that down to a minimum of 2 so there are two nodes that are joined to every other node. But if you turn it into three here, you see it puts a node in between each side. And again, every node is joined to every other node. And you can increase the complexity quite a lot. I'll stop uh, there. It's getting virtually all black. But uh, one word of warning. Actually, I'll leave it. I think I, that's a good one, the four. Uh, don't start with anything much more than a 15-sided polygon. You can type your computer processing and uh, freeze up Inkscape. But anyway, if you want to change the, uh, the um, line colour you can, shift click to the colour that you want, or uh, back to that. And uh, yeah, that's how you can uh, form, well I don't know whether it's technically a mystic rose, but it's pretty close. I think the, the normal mystic rose has the points on the circumference of a circle, but they're pretty close here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Maybe they'll be next time. Bye.